Mm. Hey guys, what is going on? It is me, Box 12 here, and welcome back to another Realm of the Mad God update video. DECA just dropped the secluded thicket on us, something I've been waiting for ever since it was teased on testing. It's finally here along with a few other changes. The Tablet of the King's Avatar was finally reworked to be a pretty good item. Higher damage, smaller radius, boomerang shots, and I guess they added HP scaling to like every boss in the game. Not quite sure if steamrolling Mixcotal was really that big of a dilemma, but... I, I, hmm. But of course, the biggest part of the update is the secluded thicket, or the epic forbidden jungle, and it's pretty much exactly how it was on testing. It's a Court of Oryx dungeon, but we've got three bosses back to back, one each getting more difficult than the other, and all of which that are inspired by the forbidden jungle. And my thoughts on the bosses are just as positive as they were back then. Tezka Kotal, the great basilisk, is based off of the regular basilisk enemies. He's got a number of phases, one where you got a circle, he's got minions, at one point they form a hexagon around him, then he goes into a rage phase at the very end and can slow you, kind of like Goldboard. El Dorado, the golden effigy that sits in the middle of the room, I think was inspired by the totem poles in the Forbidden Jungle. It's kind of a stretch, but it's the closest thing I could see it being. I was really concerned that this fight was going to be more difficult than the third, but after playing them several times, I can now confirm that that is not the case. It looks more difficult because there's so much happening, but everything is pretty well telegraphed. My first couple of times doing it, I was scared out of my mind. I was just going to die randomly, but once I got familiar enough, I learned how to dodge everything and how everything behaves. Avoid the armor-piercing shots, do not sit on the flames. Confusing boomerangs come out in an X shape. The floor will flash red, very Janus-like. Three tribesmen will be spawned. It's a really hectic fight that feels like it's always changing. I love it. And then finally, Zolotl the Lightning God, who behaves kind of similar to the Basilisk. You circle him for a little bit, lure him around, he chases you. During one of the phases, the lightning totems around the room will shoot electrical bolts. And kind of similar to Davy Jones, you have to destroy all of the totems in order to push him into his final phase, which is complete madness. I mean, this thing, there's so much going on. There is a trick, of course. We were able to find this spot that we call the triangle. I'm sure there are a couple of gaps you can squeeze your way into, but this was the biggest one we could find. But it's this big triangular shape of bullets that you can sit inside of and circle around the room by staying in it. You just have to make sure you don't get struck by that lightning, which has the cursor flying around. Because if you do get hit by it, not only does it deal massive damage, you get petrified, which in this final phase is basically a death sentence. Finding it is the hardest part, a very high-strung finale without a doubt. Both Yinyarn and I fell prey to it once because it was just so overwhelming. But when you figure it out and make it to the end, it's a great feeling of achievement. You get to use his own attack against him by luring the lightning bolt right on top of him. Aside from having a bunch of fun and varied attack patterns, I think my favorite part of this dungeon is that it doesn't take too long. No phase feels like it goes on forever, even that finale with Zolotl, it's really only like 15-20 seconds, I think. Eldorado's constantly changing it up, and Tezka Kotal is vulnerable most of the time. Out of all the Oryx Court dungeons, this is definitely my favorite. And the most profitable, too. It's the equivalent to Shatter's loot. The first boss drops attack death, then mana, and then a life at the end. The white bags that were teased a week or two ago are also pretty much the same. A few minor changes here and there. Tezka Kotal's tail, the armor-piercing staff, sealed crystal skull with a large radius, and the penetrating blast spell, which is like the better version of the old tablet. But we also have a non-white bag UT robe that drops from the tribesmen from El Dorado. Talatawani's shroud. It's a direct upgrade from the robe of Talatawani. I'm definitely going to be running more of these in the future. It's been really fun so far and really tough. Anyway, that's all I've got for you today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're liking the new content. And as always, don't forget to check out the next episode whenever I post it, which will probably be soon. Alright, see ya.